Guys, do you want to say hi to Nadia? Hey guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>
And when I was writing, I just started literally writing. When I feel like being creative, I have to be creative. And hence why I've decided to get into painting as well. I just feel like it's cool to make the most out of my creativity and just express my creativity in different forms. That's very important. As much as I love music, I know that I've got other forms of creativity as well. So I'm going to just record this. I've got the lyrics on my phone and I'm using Logic to record my vocals. One goal of mine is to actually learn how to produce my own music like I need to learn how to mix and master my own music I feel a lot of resistance towards it I'm always like yeah I'll do it tomorrow do it tomorrow but I've actually decided no I want to be able to do it I hate relying on people and I want to be more self-sufficient and I want to be able to help people as well because I know what it's like uh, not knowing what you're doing and having to figure it all out by yourself ah, headphones aren't connected I was like what's going on in terms of recording vocals and stuff I, I taught myself okay hello hello perfect I can hear myself I just bring this forward here Every time I close my eyes, I see you for the million time fading colors. You passed on by, left no impression, nothing left behind. Today I've got a photo shoot, so I'm just prepping my skin, getting ready for that. I'm gonna need to prep my skin really nicely and then apply my makeup and then get dressed. I've got one hour. What I'm using on my skin is La Rouge Poussée. This is really good. This is SPF 50 plus. If you didn't know, you have to wear sunscreen all the time. Even if it's winter, wear sunscreen, protect your skin. I find that when I use this and then I apply the Fenty Pro Filter Primer, my skin loves it. it. Creates such a nice smooth base for me to apply my makeup. So yeah, that's what we're doing. And I'm also watching Firefly Lane on Netflix. I just saw it and I was like, oh, this looks good. And it's very interesting and I'm hooked on it now. I'm on episode six, so that's what I'm doing. If I'm looking over here, I'm watching the series. Secondly, we should hear about it. He goes back to his country, but an ordinary guy. If you like series that involve like best friends, just a lot of, um, you know, you get to see people's personal life and like career changes, or you like to watch series with flashbacks in, so like you get to see someone's childhood, their teenage years, adulthood, this is a good series to watch. I'm gonna do my makeup and I'll get back to you guys. Okay, I'm ready. The outfit for today. I'm ready for the shoot. It's gonna be like an urban photo shoot, so I'm excited. We're gonna improvise when it comes to location. I'm thinking maybe to take some photos against like brick walls or like near the train tracks, that'll be quite cool. The sun has come out. We were gonna shoot earlier on in the morning. It was so dark, but the sun's finally coming out, which is good. This top is like a v-neck top. This is from Where's it from? ASOS. This jacket is from Topshop and these jeans are from, not jeans, they're like baggy trousers. They're from H&M. They're super comfy. Nike or Nike, however you want to say it. And then my makeup is just my everyday makeup look. But I did a brown lip, so I've just put some brown lip liner and some clear pink gloss in the middle and we're ready to go. Hi, I'm back. So the photo shoot went really well. We managed to get some good shots. We took some photos in an alleyway near the train tracks. So I'm excited to see what they came out like. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Anyway, I went to Sainsbury's and I got a meal deal. You know I'm obsessed. I think I'm gonna make this a new tradition of ours. Every time I get a meal deal, I'll get a new drink and then test it for you guys on camera. So for today, we've got Red Leicester cheese and onion crisps. Haven't had these in ages. This is today's drink. I've never had this before. I'm intrigued to see what this is like. It is innocent bubbles, lemon and lime, pure pressed lemons, limes, apples and grapes with sparkling spring water. She sounds cute to me. And my plans for today are to literally chill. I've been working like mad recently, which is really good because this is what I wanted. I remember in January, I said like around March time, I wanna be just busy, 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 and that's what I'm doing. What's crazy to me is that I'm so busy even though we're not even going out. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think if I was, because I've got so much free time, it doesn't seem like I'm doing a lot, but if I had a social life, then I would be like, yeah, sorry, I can't do this, too much on my plate. Let's taste this. Oh, oh, that's sour. No, I like this. I'm gonna be stacking up on these. This is gonna sound so weird, but you know that feeling you get when you reminisce on a very positive memory? This is literally what it tastes like. That's crazy. Sponsored by, no joking. Go try this drink and you'll know what I'm talking about. Well, obviously it's very subjective, but this is literally what it reminds me of. If the recollection of a positive memory had a taste, it'd be this. I'm reminiscing on summer 2021. Summer 2021 ain't even here. That's how good this drink is, damn. Anyways. You know what? Younger me would hate to do a photo shoot in public 
with people staring but i honestly don't care i don't care anymore and that goes for many things even with youtube as well it's something that i wouldn't do before but now i'm just like you know what it makes me happy i'm gonna do it do you know what i mean the thing is do what you love because everyone's always gonna have something to say you could be living your life doing the right thing as in what you think is right someone will always have something to say you could be doing absolutely everything that's wrong someone will always have something to say so just do what makes you happy the picnic blanket it is so good tested it out we've used it once already it's literally the perfect blanket i love the color i love how big it is i've been using the watercolors and oh my god i did painting and i put it on my wall and it says learn to let go i haven't done painting in years like and not have an outcome because i remember in school sometimes you feel this pressure of wanting it to look perfect but i hope you guys are all doing well i really can't wait for you guys to see all the vlogs i'm gonna do in summer this summer me and my friends have all said summer 2021 is gonna be the best like we are gonna make it the best by force and you know what as well i'm not gonna lie i love clubbing it's, it's nice it's fun whatever because i've gone so long without it it's made me realize cut the cameras dead ass I really do just prefer going to a bar or going to a pub and just sitting down with my friends and just having a chat, conversation about life. I feel like with clubbing, I prefer getting ready more than I do going out because the aftermath, coming home when your ear's ringing, hmm? I'm in bed and I can hear literally the DJ in my ear, like after the night has finished. That's not normal. Jokes catch me outside. No, I will go out. I didn't realise the impact that my social life has on my actual whole life. Like, I understand it now. Anyway, cheers. Hi everyone. For my breakfast today, I'm having toasted bagels with some fried eggs and the beef. Kind of looks like bacon. And then I've got some tomatoes with some pepper on top and some salad. The salad's looking a bit plain today. Normally I would sprinkle some cheese, but I didn't feel like eating cheese today. And I'm drinking some lemon and ginger tea. Anyway, what I'm going to do right now, you guys know I'm obsessed with that series. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm going to watch some of that series. But first of all, I'm going to reply to some YouTube comments because I've just uploaded a vlog. Oh, everyone's so cute. So cute. Oh my God, I love it and I love you. Oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you. That's my delivery. I'm so excited. Oh, who's that? Your boohoo order has been delivered. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm hitching a vlog, going to order, trying to eat breakfast, watching something. Ah! Ooh, what is it? It's a top. I'm so scared. I'm really scared. What is this? What is it? No, please. I don't think it's on properly. It's basically one of those tops that look like there's two in one and they've got thumb holes. I'm just excited about the thumb holes. I'm going to try this on after i eat and then i'll show you guys what it looks like i don't know how to feel about this i like the color and everything i think the color suits me i like the thumb holes very comfy i love it i personally feel like the pink and the blue denim is a good contrast i don't know about this area here like this here isn't attached to the top ideally you'd want it attached just because if this falls off boy the nipples coming out this outfit here with my hair like this gives me ariana grande vibes <laughs> Boy, I'm trying to meet mama on a Wednesday. No, it wasn't Wednesday. Boy, I'm trying to meet mama on a Friday. Sunday, it must be. Boy, I'm trying to meet mama on 